Hello and welcome back. Oh. All right. So, uh, it is time to get in position here. Also, time to move aside the D soldering iron. Because we need to solder. So, okay. So, put it over on the little holder here, plug it in, turn on the power, make sure the cords are happy. The cord is happy. somewhat and let it sit there <coughs> so what do we have to do well it's socket time it is time to solder in the sockets now many of these are sitting very, very gingerly. In other words, when I go to turn the board over to do it, they'll fall out. So, I will take a piece of tape. And tape this down. Now this, this is not the one I'm doing first, anyway, but it's taped. This one here, the 40 pin one, seems to be quite happy to sit there. So maybe I don't have to do any of that. There's one thing I have forgotten, which may come in handy, that is Indeed, I need to take off the helmet, Ugh. put on the head strap. And let's see if these glasses are a good fit. Yeah, not bad. So there's the chip. We're going to do the right, helmet back on. Oh, I forgot to do this. Hey, Google, set an alarm for four minutes from now. All right. So this may not play as well because I have both hands to, to do here. But I'll do my best. So the iron is heating. So um, I suppose I could. Yeah, that one will need to be taped as well. I'll just set that quickly up there. And I will take a piece of tape and tape that socket into position as well. And I will inspect to see if it seems to be protruding through, and it does. All right. Now let's check it out again. All right. Of course, one way to test and see if an iron is hot is to touch a little solder to it. And indeed, there is a smokage. There is. Before I start with that, I don't. I should have a little sponge thing here. But I don't seem to. So I'll just tap away at the end of that and get any.
extra solder off that might be ready to come off. Of course, not much of it wants to come off. Oh, well. All right, we'll let that heat up a little bit more. It's very important that it have reached a good temperature, and I don't know how long exactly it takes. They have a thing on these things called the duty cycle. And how long it takes to get cranked up, and how long you should use it for. And I don't know what that is. I don't know that it actually said it. So I'll undo some solder so I can hopefully keep my hand out of the way. And maybe, even though Google has not told me it's time, perhaps I will try. The cord is wrapped not nicely around me. How do I? Never, never touch the shiny part, or you will know it. Well, let's just see here. Yep, the solder those, and indeed, the solder flows. I think I want to do one down here because that means that the socket is now secure in case doing this would have it try to slip out. So we touch it, we get it warm, we apply a little solder. Hey, Google, stop. Just get it flowing. Maybe a little more. And down the row we go. Being careful. To get each one just so with enough solder but not too much and I sense my hand is getting close and in the way so pull that out some more Ooh, that last one does not look so good. Maybe a little too much solder. Maybe it didn't flow nicely into the hole. Okay, well that's one side of the 40 pin chip. And you know what, I'm going to set this down for a second. Because it looks to me a little bit like maybe... No, it's okay. I thought the chip was not sort of sticking through as much as it might. But it seems it's okay. So we'll start down here. And away we go. This, the 6502 is really a leap of faith based on the fact that it did get, that did not go well. It was getting unusually hot, unusually quickly. But that is often a sign that something inside the chip has indeed failed. All right, more solder, more solder. Mm. 
Okay, so don't fall now, sorry. So let's now get out our very, very, very strong glasses and get very close to the board. Now look and see that everything seems done and it all seems okay. All right, that is encouraging. So now we can set that board aside and bring this one in to the fold. And this is where the chip would be. Let me show oh, you. Yeah, now yeah. I look at the tape that has slipped a lot. So let's fairly quickly try and get get some get some pins on the corners done. All right, this is not going as smoothly. I think I want to turn this this way so I can get a better view. Okay. All right, we do seem to be sticking through okay. All right. Get the corners. Okay, so this should not. There's a lot. I really should find a sponge thing or something. Yeah. All right. Get the solder flowing. Not too much. Not too little. Just right. So this is the one. The RAM chip that absolutely the diagnostic said if this is happening, this is what's wrong. And if I think back to the 2031 that I was working on, I believe it too was flashing once. And although I couldn't really find anything definitive and anything that would say, okay, it's the RAM. Um, that's what it was. Although in that one, there were four RAM chips, but that seems to have been reduced to one. Although I think it's the same amount of RAM. Hello. Oh, that was not good. I think I need to turn the iron a bit. I'm not as pleased with this one as the other. Oh, well. well.
It's funny, sometimes it just doesn't want to flow. Oh, that's on a bus, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that one I believe is done. Let me switch. Oh, <coughs> glasses. And get a real close up view. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not as pleased with all of that. I wonder if the iron is getting irked. Well, there's a couple. I think I just want to dab on a bit. Not that there's too little. There might be a little too much. Just freshen them up a bit. And that one might be a little low. Ugh. As I said, I'm not as pleased with that as the other. All right, let's get board number three and probably we'll find, yeah, see the tape? There's things in the way that make the tape want to slip a bit, but I think this is okay. I think. All right. So, just a second here. Let me dab a little. Bit. All right. There we go. All right, and this is on my original board. That was working. So, of course, in the whole thing of we don't want to do any harm, at minimum, <coughs> I want to be able to put the working chip back in here and have it work. But I'd also very much like to put it into the other board where we've just replaced the socket. And have it work. And also, I'd love for the 6502 to have been the problem. And then we can put everything back together and say, Tally ho! All right. See, that one looks a little squirrely. All right, I think we're good. I think. Don't pull that iron down there, you. Now, let's see here. Yeah, that looks all right. I'm not as pleased. But, okay, I'm going to turn the power off. Ooh. Don't let that cool. Probably give it like 10 minutes or more. So, you can tidy up a bit. Ugh. And I can pull off the tape. And then look at the socket over here. It looks good. It does. And I can pull off the tape. And look at the socket. 
and it looks good. And this one, as I recall, there was no tape, but I can expect the sockets, and it looks good. All right. So, we'll set all those down. Blah. Take off the helmet. Take off the headband. Oh, it's still on. That's right. Ooh, it flashes. I forgot about the on. Not so bright. And flashing. All right, so that can sit there. Is that that cool? So I guess the next thing to do would be to put chips into board, like basically get a drive in front of me and start putting things into a state where they can be tested to see if what we have done has made a difference. So, but of course, before we do that, let's see if we can get some advice. Your luck will change for the better. <laughs> well, I hope that's true. Stay tuned, and we'll find out.